kick off the second annual Operation Soul Shine event. How are you doing, man? Doing good, bro. Thanks for having me. Okay, nice. <laughs> right. So tell us a little bit about uh, Operation Soul Shine. Uh, that's right. Well, Operation Slow Side got started uh, a couple of years ago. I kind of just got fed up with how insensitive the world got. So I started a little group, kind of kind of help people, or not help people, but uh, an outlet for people to go to actually kind of just do better. Just to, just to kind of, I don't know, influence people just to, to, to let their inner soul shine a little bit more. Quit being so callous and selfish and things like that. It, it caught on so well that I decided why not see if, uh, what a show we so We put on our show last year and it was a huge response. We had a couple hundred people show up, uh, six bands, gave away a guitar, a bunch of other things. That's very well from, uh, from Retro Child. Yes, yes, yeah. so um, so that took off, so then I just started a bigger group. Um, now I have an actual official website. Uh, we're going to go 501 see this year. Uh, like you said, this is our second annual benefit concert. Um, and this one I'm hoping, and the way it looks, is going to be even better than last year. Tell us a little bit about Monday Night Mission. That's, uh, that's oh, Monday Night cool Mission, that's, uh, that's with our buddy Mel. Uh, he started that years ago. Uh, what they do is they go down to Skid Row five nights a week, Monday through Friday, and uh, we all, if you want to go, um, obviously you, I, we don't expect everybody to go every night because I don't either. Uh, but if you do go, they meet down to Burger King, 7, 7, 15 or so, start preparing all the food, have a pep talk, convoy down there, feed the homeless, come back. And, it, and it's really, it really feeds the soul. I mean, the, the smiles you see on people, and, and they don't really get to have a conversation with many people, you know. So to talk to them and to hug them and to shake their hand, and, you know, actually hand them food and call them by their name, you know, it makes them feel a little bit more human. How's the uh, How's the law enforcement been down there? They've been good towards you. They've, they've been really good towards us. Uh, I personally have been going down there for a couple of years now, and I haven't uh, experienced any ill will towards our group at all. They've never given us a hard time that I've been, when I've been down there. I read somewhere they just started a new ordinance about giving food away or something. Well, they, what they started to is one of the, a couple of the councilmen wanted to put a ban on feeding the homeless in public places. And we had a big protest against that a couple of months ago. It seems as though one of the guys backed off and I don't know about the other guy. So we're still waiting to find out the results of that. If they're Stop they can make us, but we'll still find a way. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, people still need to eat. Absolutely. And then there's also the Reservoir Dog Sanctuary that um, is a part of this as well. Oh, yeah, that Jill and Steve Sampson. Yeah. Uh, along with David Eggers. Uh, both those guys are in the Van Bird Cycle. Uh, Jill's been doing this with animals for 30 plus years. She's really great at it. Uh, so is Steve and Dave. Um, Reservoir Dog Sanctuary, they board, they train, they take abandoned animals um, when they have the room. They do adoptions. Uh, they do adoptions, they foster out. Um, and, it, and most of it comes out of their own pocket or from donations or, or what they make on boarding. So they spend a lot of their own money carrying you know, medical bills. Can, I mean, well, one, one bill alone can be $5,000 for mm -hmm. cancer treatment or something like that, you know? They've got a pool, they take them hiking. We go, we go swimming with them, we yeah. take them on hikes, definitely play with them. Uh, they're, they're not, they definitely all get human attention. Every dog there gets human attention. So they're not just stuck in a corner or in a pen somewhere, you know, for the duration of their life. It's not the Sarah McLaughlin sad animal video. It's no, like, it's not, it's not. I mean, it, and there are problem animals. I mean, they're not all. Dogs can be out in the yard at the same time, you know, they don't all get along. And they already know that. They, Jill and Steve already have that figured out, so they've got a routine and it works great. It's amazing what they what they put out of themselves. Absolutely. And you're sporting the shirt that's going to be the new shirt on the night. Look at this. This will be the new shirt for tonight. Yeah, we've got stuff on the back. How did uh, Daryl Boyd from Rock and Roll Gangstar got involved with that? How, how yeah, did well, he did, well, he did. Well, uh, he did. I've known Daryl for a few years now, and uh, I've supported his his company, and he supported a lot of bands. So I hooked up with him last year to do our shirts last year, okay. and they came out so well that uh, I went back to him this year to have him do them again. 
We have Stephen Talbot, he's our graphic designer. He does, he does all the designs for Operation Social. So if you ever need graphics, Stephen Talbot, Talbot Designs. So there you go. What was the process like putting the first one versus the second one together? Is it, is it, I imagine it's got to be pretty stressful. It, it is. It was a little bit easier this time because we already knew what to expect uh, with who we're dealing with. Yeah. Um, but as soon as the word got out that we were putting on the new one, so many people stepped up to help and volunteer and bands offering to play. And it, it, was, it really kind of sucked that I had to turn away 20 bands that oh, wanted wow. to play just because I don't have room for that many bands, unfortunately. But one day we'll have one of those weekend camping festivals and we'll have 20 bands play you know, all day, all night. Nice. Stock, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Heck yeah. But, but it was, it was, it definitely was a challenge um, getting everything lined up. But, but I have great people helping me, Jill and Jack, and, uh, you know, Daryl and Steven. They all stepped up really big and really made this happen. Tell us a little bit about your band. Oh, about my band. I'm in a band. I play bass for Critical Mass. Uh, this will be our actual first official show with this lineup. Uh, Tony Lepree on guitar, Craig Cook on guitar, Bobby Anderson vocals, uh, myself bass, Chris Lepree drums. Uh, we're kind of a kind of a heavy rock, a little, a little punk influence, a little blues influence, you know, uh, metal influence. You know, so kind of a we're, we're kind of heavy though. You know, we're not. Probably not something that you would want to relax and listen to. Like a blue chair or a or well, Maybe, maybe we, you know, I guess you'll kind of have to decide for yourself. It's, I, I kind of consider, you know, heavy rock metal type of thing. You, know. you guys have to decide for yourself, I guess. Absolutely. Where is a good way people can get involved with Monday Night Mission and Reservoir Dogs? You know? uh, so well, we all have sites. Uh, if you go on Operation Soul Shine on Facebook, there's a link there to our website as well as the Facebook site. Uh, Reservoir Dogs is also on my website and they have their own website, rdsdogs.com. Um, Monday Night Mission, they're mainly on Facebook, but all you need to do to, to volunteer is just go down Monday through Friday, one of those nights, go down to Burger King at 700 uh, West Cesar Chavez in Los Angeles about 7.15, 7.30 during the weekdays and that's where everybody meets and goes down and you'll be done about 10 o'clock. And even more importantly is just when you see a homeless guy in your local area, if you're in the area, just go back home, grab well, a blanket well, and give it to well, him. Well that was kind of the basis of Operation Soul Shine is, is kind of just do good by others a little more. Buy someone a cup of coffee, see somebody hungry, buy them a sandwich. You know, uh, have lunch with a stranger, just talk to somebody. I mean it really just even one kind word could change that person's whole day. That's absolutely right. A smile. I mean, that guy got his way to kill himself and you smile at And it's happened. And it's, and it's happened. People have told me, you know, just because you said hello to me, I didn't go shoot myself. You know, and so just that alone, it's like, hey, that's 10 years worth of great things for me. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's all worth it right there. And it's, it's become such a great community thing. You look forward to, like, you know, seeing all your buddies, you know, Steve and Joe will be here. Oh, there's gonna be well, there's gonna be so many, so many really great people here tonight. And this is one of the times of the year that I can guarantee that I'm gonna see so many people. So many, so many people, people really support this, and, and I'm really grateful for for those people in my life that support and, and help me get this done. Now, for those that aren't able to make it tonight, will they be able to still get shirts online? Will they be sure, sure. I have them. I have them uh, as uh, my store on my website. All right, well, thank you for taking the time, not just for us, but for everything you do for everybody out there. Right. Thank People you. like you to make the world a better place, brother. So thank, thank you, sir. You. Thank you. All right.